What's going on guys, it's Matthew here with Gadget University and I'm here with a review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 inch. This is the Verizon 4G LTE model. Basically identical to the Wi-Fi version I reviewed a while back. You're still getting the 10.1 inch screen, resolution of 1280 by 800. You're getting the dual core Tegra 2 uh, by NVIDIA clocked at 1 GHz A core. Also you're getting a Giga RAM and you're getting a very large 7000 uh, milliamp battery inside. Now what they did is uh, you're still getting video chat and all the other functionality with the cameras and, and everything like that but they still kept the slim design which is very very cool for them to do that. Let me zoom out so you can see is it's still extremely thin. Now one thing I did notice is it is at a tad heavier a little bit heavier. It's not very much. It's noticeable for me because I came from the Wi-Fi version, but other than that, it's, uh, it's pretty much identical. Uh, on the left-hand side is now the power button and the volume rocker. Uh, on the other Wi-Fi version, it's across the top. Across the top, also you have your micro SIM card slot. Uh, this is the two point, excuse me, three megapixel front-facing camera and on the back you got a 5 megapixel rear camera and that is an LED flash in the back as well uh, Verizon branding Samsung 4G LTE this is the black version obviously and you're also getting the 16 gig now you can get the I think 32 gig as well with Verizon uh, it is about a hundred dollars more uh, same price point as the Wi-Fi uh, except this time you're paying 629 with an additional plan of course that you have to purchase through Verizon let's go ahead, I'm sorry, 529 and 629 uh, let me go ahead and pull out my Wi-Fi version and just so you know the Belkin Ver Folio case does work with both models uh, as you can see here it has cutouts on the side for the Verizon version so little food for thought if you guys are looking for a good case um, I've been using this Belkin case for a few months now I would say about two months now and I've loved it but let's go ahead and pull this out so you can see what I was referring to across the bottom you have a difference there I don't know what these are but there's a little kind of like screw indication indicators on the left hand side you have the speaker and you have the power lock wait button on this side is bare across the top 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks in the same spot and along the left hand side the speaker is a little bit higher on the 3G 4 excuse me the 4G LTE version which brings my next point is this is also 3G compatible uh, speeds and 4G errors were very very good very fast um, I average anywhere between 21 megabits to about 7 up, 21 down. So that's very, very good. That's faster than most internet um, out there in home offices and, and homes. But uh, for some reason, I'm not sure what it is, but maybe because I'm so used to TouchWiz, but this it seems a little bit smoother. I don't know if it's because I don't have many apps on it yet, but it seems a little bit smoother. Gaming is pretty good. Uh, this is a game called Spirit HD. Give me a second here. Let me zoom in. You guys can see how good the graphics look. Mm, sorry about that. Okay. I'm trying to play through with my camera here, so forgive me if I suck. So this real estate in this screen is very bright and very colorful. You still have access to all your normal Google apps, the market. Um, you still have, everything's pretty much the same guys. Now the only thing that's different right now, technically, is the fact that this version right here has, the Wi-Fi version has TouchWiz. TouchWiz will eventually be coming to the Verizon version as well, so there's not much of a 
uh, difference at this time besides that. Well guys, that's been my quick review. Um, if you want more information or you want to see more details, uh, check out the Wi-Fi version review that I did. But um, this is pretty good. Man, I really like it. I think it's one of those tablets that I definitely took the first tablet, like the Motorola Zoom, and took it to the next level. Thanks guys. Make sure you guys please subscribe, like the video, follow us on Twitter. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.